Okay, I have a continuing word from the Lord. This is part two. Uh, for part one, please see the previously uploaded video today. Um, please note that this is the second time this word is being prophesied. This is the second time this word is being prophesied. Times two means it's very important and it will come to pass. On that day, a fountain shall be opened for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to cleanse them from sin and impurity. On that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will cut off the names of the idols from the land so that they shall be remembered no more. And also I will remove from the land the prophets and the unclean spirit. <clears throat> if any prophets appear again, their fathers and their mothers who bore them will say to them, you shall not live for you spoke lies in the name of the Lord. And their fathers and their mothers who bore them shall pierce them through when they prophesy. On that day, the prophets will be ashamed. Every one of their visions when they prophesy, they will not put on a hairy mantle in order to deceive. But each of them will say, I am no prophet. I am a tiller of the soil. For the land has been my possession since my youth. And if anyone asks them, what are these wounds on your chest? The answer will be, the wounds I, re I received in the house of my friends. Um, we're going to continue in Zechariah 14. See, a day is coming for the Lord when the plunder taken from you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all nations. Um, okay, I feel like he's highlighting this chapter. But I do suggest reading the last excerpt of Zechariah 13. <clears throat> okay. Zechariah 14. See, a day is coming for the Lord when the plunder taken from you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. The city shall be taken, the houses looted, and the women raped. Half the city shall go into exile, but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations as when he fights on that day of battle. On that day, his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives. <clears throat>